sprinkler systems might be a thing of the past, at least for gardening. A new way of growing food is developing roots in the valley. Aeroponics is the culture and growing of fish and plants in the same closed system. For Peter Condon, it was a chance to bring a new type of farming to the urban horticulture program at Mesa Community College. He received a huge grant from the Environmental Protection Agency. The total amount of money is $108,900, so it is a fairly large amount of money for us. Uh, it's the largest grant that I've ever gotten from my program, and we're really, really happy and really proud of this grant. But MCC wasn't alone in the grant. They partnered with Right Track Incorporated, which focuses on aquaponics and education, and with the Roosevelt School District. So students from elementary school up through college can get a STEM education through aquaponics. You'd be amazed how much science, technology, engineering, and math goes into growing a tomato. The greenhouse at Brooks Community School in South Phoenix will house several aquaponics systems. Dr. Brooks teaches only the second aquaponics class in the nation and says the system works by using nutrient-rich wastewater from raising fish in one container to fertilize and water plants through a series of pipes. The technique ultimately uses less water than traditional farming practices. This lettuce and other plants in an aquaponic system can grow two to three times faster than plants in a traditional garden. Cucumbers, chocolate mint, and basil are all taking root now, but that's not all. Our goal is to create fish, greens, and most importantly, really, really smart kids. In Phoenix, Samantha Davis, Cronkite News.